Right guys, 3S is in. Oh, I'm dreading it because I know it's just gonna break. It should never go. When you, when you feel something, it's, yeah, it's all right. Stop there. Here, here's how, how I, God, that's really soft. Tighten them up a bit. Tighten them up a little bit. Because the 3S battery is rather heavy actually. No, it's, you're not sitting on it. The thing is, it just gets too bouncy. I wonder if. I have it like that. Tiny bit up in the front. Lights. Getting dark. Are we recording? Yes, we are. It's all right. Wish me luck now, then, guys. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Moves. Gentle. Pull. On your wheels. Oh, no. Furthest away as well. But that was full throttle. And why it tips over now, it's... Uh, the 3S is rather heavy and it sits actually on top of the motor, so rather high up in the car. It's not, it's not very, hello, it's not a very good place to have the battery. I don't think it goes straight, does it? Yeah, it goes rather straight. Acting weird. Very bouncy. <laughs> That's how it can go. It's it's too bouncy for the three S speed, yeah. It's not very a good place to bounce around. Spins, guys. You grip your tire. That moves, Whew. but God, look at them shocks. Uh, I wonder if they are starting to leak. Going to do a full throttle. Still holding together. It moves. I'm happy with it. Oh, I have, you see what happens? All of a sudden, you can just. It must be stuff coming into them wheels because so, all of a sudden the car can just turn around its own axle. Oh, look at that. Oh, lucky. Too bouncy up there. Oh god, I'm cold.
It just doesn't stay on its wheels. Ah, annoying. I know it's my driving as well. I'm not the best driver in the world. Whoa! Ah. Maybe I should buy some expensive shocks. These are these are actually from uh, an FTX car. Bought a spare repair car. Took the shocks of it. It's been working rather okay until now. But it's fun now. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Told you, never go three years. I think it, it's, uh, I had to do a modification of the spur gear. Yeah. yeah. I had to modify the spur gear to, to fit on my drive shaft. And I think that broke. Yeah, that's it for today though. I knew it. I think I need to take that apart and I can't do any speed now. Take it apart again. But that was the whole purpose with this uh, little drive today to see to see what I need to modify and um, make better. I'm doing it very gentle now, it's hardly any throttle at all. But yeah. I think, yeah, it is the spur gear comes off from it. I, I had to do an adapter to put on the central drive shaft to fit the spur gear. I got a new spur gear at home, so it's no big deal. And that slides. I need I need to put a pin in the central drive shaft to hold it in place. I like the car. I like the look of the car. No, pack up and go home. Have dinner. So yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is the spur, the spur gear. Yeah. I also had to do a bit of modification to the out axle and for the drive cup. You know them drive cups you put on joint. Uh, at the front and make my own pin could also be that slipping so yeah oh so yeah better stop while it's still holding together so yeah guys see you all later hope you enjoyed my little try here on making a video uh didn't really meant to make like a proper video video yeah want to see if the stuff are holding together and it I mean to be honest it's 3S on it it's 3S on the 3900 engine motor uh, uh, on a toy grade car it's not too bad so yeah let's go home have dinner and take this apart see what happened right thank you bye